We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Brother MFC 8910 printer and we're going to go over a few common causes of paper jams, more specifically paper jams that occur because of things inside of the paper tray. So let's go ahead and remove the paper tray so we can take a better look at it. And so we can start off, let's remove all the paper here so we can link it down into the bottom of the paper tray. There we go. So we're just going to set the paper off to the side. Now if you look into the bottom of the paper tray, you notice there's these green little adjusting tabs. Now what they're for is to adjust this paper tray for whatever size paper you're using. And it's very important that these are set exactly for the paper size that you're putting into this paper tray. You don't want it to be for a larger size piece of paper or in between sizes. Also, you don't want it to be for a smaller piece of paper and in between sizes. So in our case, we're using a standard eight and a half by 11 or letter paper. So we're gonna make sure that all these indicators are exactly on our markings for an eight and a half by 11 or letter paper. Now what happens is if this gets knocked back and is set for a larger size piece of paper, then the paper's way too loose inside the paper tray and it shifts back and forth, making it extremely difficult for the printer to pull paper through and it can tell the printer there's a paper jam. Also, it can tell the printer that there's a larger size piece of paper inside this paper tray and so when it does pull paper through, it's looking for a bigger piece of paper and can think that there's a paper jam because it's not pulling paper through the way it thinks that it should. Now if you go the other way, if these are set for it being for a smaller piece of paper than you're actually using, it can make it way too tight inside this paper tray so that the paper doesn't pull through correctly. And then again, it, to tell, it could tell the printer that there's a smaller piece of paper inside this paper tray, so if it does pull, then it's looking for a smaller sheet of paper. So as it's going through the printer, the printer thinks there's a paper jam because it's looking for a different size piece of paper. So once very important, make sure these are set exactly on the indications for whichever size piece of paper you're using for that paper tray. Once you've done that, probably one of the most, other most common causes of paper jams we see in a paper tray is from adding paper into, into the paper tray. So say you have a few sheets left inside the paper tray, you go to add a stack and when you go to slide it in, what happens is a few of those sheets curl up in the back. So they'll actually sit in your paper tray, something like that. Now what happens is, just like having this indicator too small, it causes the paper to be way too tight inside of that paper tray and it doesn't allow the paper to pull through correctly. So it's always important whenever you add paper into your paper tray that you check all four sides, make sure there's no paper curled up on any side. If there, are, or if there is, go ahead and just quickly remove it. And once you have a nice clean stack on all four sides, that's going to help drastically in reducing any paper jams that you're having. Another common reason we see paper jams because of the paper tray is nobody wants to have to stop in the middle of something to go add more paper into the paper tray. So what happens a lot of times is people grab as much paper as they possibly can and try to shove it into these paper trays. But if you look at these little uh, size, our paper size tabs, there's also a little flag at the top of them. And what those flags are is that they give you an idea of your maximum fill line. And if you, if you try to shove paper underneath that, and sometimes you can fit a lot more than you should in here, it, what will happen is it causes the paper to be too high and puts too much pressure on the paper pickup assembly and doesn't allow the printer to pull paper correctly. So generally, I would recommend leaving a small gap between your top sheet of paper and this max fill line. And again, it's on all three sides here. So it's very easy to find. Just keep an eye on it and make sure that you're not overfilling the paper tray. And the last one that's really common in the paper tray is if you haven't, if you've had the printer for a while, you've used it pretty consistently and you've never had the printer maintenance, it could be a good chance that the printer roller or the paper feed roller kit is used and needs to be replaced. It's a normal wear and tear item. If that's the case, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with that. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with that as well. Other than that, I hope this helps and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.